weird and racist response to Christmas adverts. Yes, I've heard about this. Um, yeah. By the way, John by the Lewis way, advert. Yeah, just 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 before we said this isn't really in the news that much, mm. but I remember like every single year there is always a Christmas advert with like mm. just multiple families sitting down having dinner, right? And one of those families happens to be black, mm. and some people who complain to Ofcom seem to have a problem with that. And it's every yeah. fucking year. And it's, it's so year. strange. That's it's, it's every year. It's like this is a Christmas tradition. It's... it's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just say, for the sake of argument, that you are a bigot. Not not you, Danny. Just a, th- no. a hypothetical person is a, is a massive bigot. Yeah. And they say, you know what? I really hate um, people that are different to me, and I, I really hate all of that. So that means that um, if... For just for example, somebody makes an advert with a black family eating Christmas dinner. I will furiously contact Ofcom post haste, and I will make my distaste known to the world. Yeah, and then that happens, and nothing comes of it because why would John Lewis stop making an advert just because some random bigot decides that they shouldn't? Yeah, and then the next year it happens again, and they're like, "Oh my god, it's yeah. happened again!" I know. <laughs> What? I mean, it's just nonsense to keep. Oh God! It's almost as if black people exist and let live in this country mm. and in many other countries and mm. just want to sit down and eat Christmas dinner just like everyone else. Yeah. It's, like, it's really there is re- there is really no no conceivable way that it affects anyone. Mm-hmm. Like, and like, I mean, genuinely, that like, there is not any measurable way to determine whether it has affected anyone. You know, it is literally the most benign, normal mm. thing. It's literally just a fucking family sitting, eating dinner, and these people are people like, oh. always, yeah. It's the justifications that, that people say. It's like, oh, this political correctness. Uh, trying to Only 15% of Britain is black and all the rest yeah, of it. It's like, mm. So what? I mean... <laughs> of that 15%, a, a tiny... I presume there will be millions of families. Yeah. And I presume they will be eating dinner. Exactly. A tiny percentage of the population are celebrities and we need to look at their fucking stupid faces all the time. Do you know what I mean? So let's actually have normal people. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That that maybe don't make up the exact majority that you wish mm. they did. Like Jesus Christ. No, you're completely right. The, one of the best responses to this I've seen was um somebody tweeted just so- something like um I think it well, I think I, I'm going to be paraphrasing a bit, so bear with me. But it was something like um Fifteen percent of Britain's population is black. Can we have proportional representation in our media, in our adverts, the rest of it? Um, and somebody replied to them and said, "Okay, if that's the case, why are you fixating on on race?" Yeah. Let's say there's something like forty percent of Britain probably wears glasses. So why do we not have exactly forty percent of the people in the adverts wearing glasses? Yeah. If there's sixty percent of of people in Britain have some kind of uh, disability, perhaps. Yeah. Why do we not have that represented? Why is race important, unless you're a racist? Yes. It's the only explanation, and that's perhaps one of the best interpretations of it I've seen is that it's not important unless you think it's important. If you're a racist. Yeah. It's just nonsense. Why? It's a difficult issue with no easy answer. N- not really. I mean, it's, it's mm. pretty easy answer. Why is it that women make up the majority, and yet there are far more men in media and politics? Yep, it's exactly. Like, can we not get some proportional representation on that? Like the majority of people in television shows are men, like just just like skewed across the board. So the idea that you're only concerned with, you know. Oh, it doesn't represent Britain. It's like, well, yeah. <laughs> that we, you can argue about that, but look, media in general doesn't represent Britain because not everyone is white and not everyone is male and not everyone yeah. is straight. I mean, it's like, mm. it's it's really it's really really stupid. It's just mm. j- I wish people would just be honest about it and just say, yeah, mm. you don't you don't like black people for mm. whatever reason. Just admit it. Don't try and yeah. disguise it with a million. So, well, it's not, you know, it's, oh, PC gone mad and all that. It's, it's not. Mm. It's just there are different people in society and it's okay to show them on a Christmas advert or any yeah, advert. Do you know what I mean? Yes, Christ. 
the thing that really does annoy me about it is that um, for all this sort of faux fury and hatred towards <laughs> towards John Lewis, the company, for this particular advert, it's all benefiting John Lewis, really. Yeah. Because yeah. if it, it's... There's a video, again, a video it's by H. Bomber guy. guy. We, yeah. we go on about all the fucking time, called uh, Woke Brands, I think it is. Yeah. Um, and he makes the point of um, brands that have... Um, no such thing as bad publicity. Dougie makes an excellent point. True. <laughs> um, that um, said, I think it was um, a Gillette advert a couple of years ago that said, uh, men, uh, boys, treat other people with respect. Become a better person through doing better actions. And this caused uproar at the time. Well, no, men should be men and boys should be boys. They shouldn't cry and they should hit people and all the rest of it. Um, <laughs> and then people were sort of flushing their Gillette raz- razor down the loo and all the rest of it. And then... <laughs> Almost immediately, the chances are people went out and bought another Gillette razor, yeah. because the reason they bought the Gillette razor wasn't that they, that Gillette the brand hated women or something. It was because oh well, it's just a razor and I need a razor. So having a a, a razor brand or John Lewis a shopping brand be socially aware and make social or political points, yeah, even in a very very vague way in an advert, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually going to stop shopping from there because that isn't why you started shopping there yeah so all john lewis have done is just make an advert and get their name in the news exactly that's all that's happened really and it's frustrating People. that we live in a situation where just getting your name in the news is is the goal of an advertising campaign rather than saying no at john lewis we we genuinely have really good i don't know what john lewis sell actually really good clothes turkey that you can buy for your christmas dinner i don't know clothes i think oh we have really good christmas jumpers yeah um, Google what Saatchi and Saatchi did in the night. I will. I will in a minute. But I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm gonna make this point. Um, there, there's a, a a delightful human being uh, by the name of uh, Candace Owens, who oh, who sort yeah. of led led the charge with the whole Nike thing. And there was another thing where uh, Harry Styles, uh, was wearing a dress, and she went into this Twitter tirade about. You know, you need to bring back manly men, and oh, men have men have become too feminine in society, right? And it only takes one or two scrolls down her Instagram feed to see her wearing a suit. And her, if you look at that post, it's literally bombarded with "bring back feminine women," like just people mm. absolutely trolling the shit out of her. It's just like what people are angry about aren't actually what they're angry about. It's always like this, oh, it's oh, it's the decline of Western civilization. Men aren't manly anymore. It's like the idea that, that men were really ever manly. Like makeup was invented for like men and yeah. like men wore heels and stuff. And like, yeah, high heels were invented um, by butchers. Yeah. So they wouldn't have to stand in blood all day. Exactly. Yeah. Western civilization was... Invented by bisexual Greeks. I mean, that's that's kind of true. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's you know, it's it's um, it's this obsession with tradition that isn't actually very, uh, traditional. Um, the thing is, at the end of the day, stuff is just stuff. Who yeah. gives a shit? Christ, put on yeah. a dress if you want. Put on some trousers if you want. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, just Christ. <laughs> there are more important things to be worrying about with your life than yeah. that. Yeah, if all you stuff can worry about, stuff. if all you can worry about is men wearing dresses and black people in Christmas adverts, then you've either got it good, incredibly good, or you're so delusional that you have no idea what's actually going on in real mm, life. Precisely, yeah. It's, um, the, I think, the thing that really infuriates me about um, sort of the, the hypocrisy of this, this Candace Owens and that thing about the dress and the suit and all the rest of it is that, um, the facts only suit her. She only makes the point when the facts suit her. Yeah. It's when it's easy for her to say, oh, uh, men should be masculine and shouldn't be wearing dresses. Um, but then it's also convenient for her to wear a suit sometimes. So it, it's not yeah. actually a point she believes in. No. If it were a point she believed in and could honestly say, no, I believe in this entirely, then <coughs> at the very least I would go, okay, well, that's your you're wrong, but it's your opinion and yeah. you're entitled to it. But it's not her opinion. It's a convenient set of buzzwords that she exactly. can throw around, which really offends me. Really, really offends me. Yeah. It's um one of the things I know we 
I say we don't talk about politics. Obviously, we talk about politics all the fucking time. But we do. Um, it's one of the things I really despise about Boris Johnson is that he really doesn't seem to give a shit. Is that um, no. uh, Theresa May, for all of her flaws, seemed to actually think she was doing the right thing. Yeah. And while I disagree that she was, she thought she was, and that deserves at least a little bit of going. Oh well. You had to go, at least. Yeah. Boris Johnson seems to not care, and he's actively just lining his own pockets and the pockets of his mates. It's not. Yep. It's not a, a genuine attempt at governance. It's just shit. Mm-hmm.